This is Nathan Radcliffe here in New York City at the New York Eye Surgery Center. We recently had the American Glaucoma Society meeting here in New York, and I spent a good bit of time speaking with my colleagues about corneal hysteresis and how it works into my practice. So here we are uh, with the Reichert Ocular Response Analyzer. Uh, this is a machine that measures corneal biomechanical properties, hysteresis, as well as intraocular pressure. And I'd like to show you how the machine works and what we do with the results. So Madeline, come on forward. Uh, I'm going to just press the button. The machine will guide itself onto the eye and use an air jet to measure the pressure and hysteresis, and it has done so. Go ahead and sit back. Uh, we have our measurement now, and uh, I'm going to get four pieces of information from the results. Uh, first is a waveform score, and the waveform score tells me the quality of the measurement that I've just taken. Uh, it's a number from 1 through 10. We got an 8.4 here, and a waveform score of 8.4 is quite excellent. Um, so this is a quality scan, and then the next thing I'm going to look at is the corneal hysteresis. We've had a number of prospective longitudinal studies recently that have helped us um, understand the role of hysteresis. And what we've learned most importantly is that hysteresis is uh, predictive of worsening glaucoma in people with an established diagnosis and glaucoma progression in uh, a progression from glaucoma suspect to glaucoma in those uh, who are glaucoma suspects. Corneal hysteresis is measured in millimeters of mercury. Uh, it is uh, a normal value is around 10. Uh, this hysteresis is a little bit high at 11.4 millimeters of mercury. We also get an IOPG measurement, which is a Goldman correlated intraocular pressure measurement. I've studied this. It does indeed correlate with Goldman applination tonometry, and this happens to the extent that these measurements are interchangeable in my practice. So if a patient has been measured with Goldman on the previous four visits, and now I'm using the ocular response analyzer, I'll use those values interchangeably. Now, when you adjust a Goldman correlated IOP measurement for the corneal hysteresis, you get a value that's known as a corneal compensated intraocular pressure, IOPCC. We've got a high hysteresis, so the corneal compensated pressure here is 15.5, which is lower than the Goldman correlated number of 16.2. Okay, so that tells us a little bit about whether the pressure measurement itself is actually accurate, but also the hysteresis tells us that there is indeed a lower risk. I use this information because it might push me over the edge in terms of when to treat a glaucoma suspect. It may help me monitor someone with established glaucoma more carefully or escalate therapy in patients where the risk uh, is a little bit on the high side. So this is clinically useful information. Um, we have the machine here. My technicians measure it. One of the things I like is it's not, um, it's not dependent on who's measuring it. You push a button and you get the measurement. So uh, I can feel comfortable that I'm getting reliable measurements no matter who's working. Uh, I don't need to recheck them. And uh, you know, ultimately this works well in patient flow, works well in my practice, and gives me information that uh, helps me adjust my patient risk assessment with each visit uh, as I follow these glaucoma patients moving forward. In conclusion, the ocular response analyzer is an important part of the glaucoma practice. It provides us with the strongest information regarding the patient's risk of either developing or progressing with their glaucoma. It works well in your patient flow. Uh, it's a small machine uh, and it uh, also provides intraocular pressure data which is valuable. So overall uh, something that I think is indispensable for the glaucoma practice in the modern era.